Beautiful uptown Charlotte. Uh, can't find your way around, just follow the signs. Can't miss it. Yeah. Straight down, totally take a left. explains everything. Yeah, go down, take a left, take a right. You can't miss it, it's right there. Charlotte, okay. every direction you go. Yeah, beautiful. Literally. Uh, that's the direction of the Final Four, which is where I think this next team is going. Oh. We're going to get into that oh, with this crowd right here. The Notre Dame fighting Irish are in the house. Kylie makes me feel so small. <laughs> <laughs> My bad. I thought I did. Well, you do too. Uh, now you feel like a little munchkin in between, <laughs> don't you? Uh, Sonia joins us as well. Uh, Sonia, we haven't seen you since the ACC tournament. No. Um, uh, listen, we had Muffet on a while ago, and I thought that last year, as banged up as you guys were down the stretch, it gave an opportunity for so many different players to get an opportunity to play big time pressure basketball. I think it's only going to help this team, which again, if you could stay healthy, I think you're going to the Final Four. I know I'm putting too much yeah. pressure on you, but that's what you sign up for at Notre Dame. Just curious, what you went through at the tail end of last year, how you felt chip on shoulder leading into 23-24? Yeah, um, I mean, it was definitely tough. I think, like you said, at the end, it definitely did teach me and teach our team a lot. Um, going through that adversity, it kind of builds a lot of character. It makes you work on things that normally you wouldn't be working on. Like, I, I didn't think I would be a point guard. Right. Um, but it almost helped me with different aspects of my game and kind of seeing the floor and the court differently. So I think it did teach me a lot. So I'm thankful for it. Um, but it was definitely tough. How did you feel about that roller coaster ride at the end of last season? Yeah, it definitely wasn't something we expected. <laughs> but in a lot of ways, I feel like it is our biggest asset going into this year, having yeah. so many different players kind of experience that adversity and understand how to handle it, where we can take that leadership and kind of teach the younger girls that are coming up just like, we can get through hard things. Like we did it last year and we're gonna kind of succeed and thrive through it. I like that, we can get through hard things. For you personally, you know, you come to Notre Dame from Oregon. Now you're settled in, you have a year under your belt. What's been the biggest difference for you now as you head into this next yeah. season? Yeah, I mean, exactly that. The comfortability and the confidence that I feel like I've gained. Just understanding the offense, being here for a year, playing with my teammates, understanding how each other plays. And especially being a senior just now, me, Sohn, all the returners from last year, just kind of taking on that leadership role. Um, I'm really just embracing that confidence and not really thinking while I'm playing. Right. With four starters back, great recruiting class coming in. Hopefully Olivia's healthy at some point in time. Uh, practice has got to be fun, huh? I mean, I got to figure as competitive as you are, as great as the program is, practice. Coach Ivy's got to be sitting back with a smile on her face going, OK, girls, let's go to work. Uh, what, what's a practice like? Yeah, um, I mean, it's definitely very intense, very competitive. Um, I think a few of our new players really bring that too. Um, like Hannah is so competitive, she's really going to push you to be better. And I think that's something that's a little different with our team is how hard we go in practice, that kind of competitive edge that we all have, um, and really just pushing each other to be better because practice is where it all happens, really. This is definitely the most competitive team that I've ever been on. Um, like she said, Hannah has a huge role in that, especially defensively. She just plays with so much fire. Like she's a she's a dog. So I'm really excited for you guys to get to watch that as well. Um, but all of the new players each bring something special, and even like shooting competitions are competitive. Everyone wants to win. <laughs> Who will we be super when we turn on the television? And hey, let's just say you go to I don't know Paris for an opener. Um, <laughs> Who's going to surprise us when we turn? Because we know you enough. I mean, you've got all this experience back. But who will surprise us just putting our feet up on the couch going, OK, Notre Dame, show me something. Give me a name or two. Um, I would say Anna DeWolf. I think um, she's very underrated. But this year, I think people are really going to see just how good she is. Um, she has that experience. She is a fifth year. She's a baller. Um, she can shoot. She she can kind of do everything, and I think she's really going to help us this year. I was going to say Anna as well. I mean, coming in, I feel like not a lot of people watch Fordham women's basketball, so I think this is huge for her to kind of, I mean, first game of the year, we're playing South Carolina in Paris, so she gets to show the whole world that she's a bucket, and she has done so much for our team, especially playing those games over the summer. It's just, she's so fun to play with, and having her and Hannah and eventually live out there, it's just, it's really exciting to see. Yeah, so you see the list there, some new faces, including, <laughs> as you mentioned, Anna, and Hannah, we keep hearing Hannah's name. She's the number five recruit in the country coming in. I know you guys have a trio of McDonald's All-Americans coming in there, a one that early enrolled and has already played a key role for you guys at the end of last season. You you guys were once those freshmen not very long ago. Uh, Kylie, what, what would your advice be to the freshmen that are coming in who are going to play a big role in what you guys do? 
Um, just be confident. Let the game come to you. And honestly, it's the same game you've been playing your whole life. So there's no need to put too much pressure on it. Like, you've done this your entire life. It's the same game, same aspects. Competition's a little bit harder and the speed's a little bit quicker. But other than that, just play your game and enjoy it. Do you have any special pieces of advice? You were there not long ago. Yeah, I know. It's it's crazy to think that I'm an upperclassman now, but um, <laughs> kind of off what Kylie said, just I think confidence is key. Um, just not overthinking it. I know that's something I did as a freshman, just struggling with that confidence, overthinking, because the the pace is so much faster. It's so much more physical, and like the mental aspect can get a little bit just, you know. Um, so I think, yeah, just being confident, knowing that they've been playing this game. They're great players. Um, they know how to play basketball. So just don't overthink, be confident, and just have fun doing what you're doing. You know, we've talked to so many student athletes today who've enjoyed not only one, number one, the college experience, but the chance to travel internationally. That opener in Paris, it's for number one in South Carolina. We know what a great program Don Staley has built. How cool, though, is it you get that game, that matchup, and oh, by the way, we're taking it to Paris, France. When you first heard that, Sonia, what was the first thing yeah. popping in your head? Um, wow. I think <laughs> that kind of summarizes it. Um, it's not every day you get to do this. It's definitely a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. Um, and I know we've been saying we're just so grateful and we're blessed that we get to be a part of it. Um, it's definitely going to be tough because we're not used to playing a team like South Carolina our first game so we're definitely going to be thrown in the fire a little bit see um, what our team is really made of but I think that's part of the excitement so yeah I mean Soma was saying earlier like we were thrown in the fire all year last year kind of getting adversity and kind of overcoming that adversity so I think playing them in Paris is amazing and we're getting all of our passport stamps into we're going to Greece and Croatia <laughs> Paris you know we're just little world travelers so let's it's talk, awesome. let's talk about Greece and Croatia first of all you guys go to Greece and Croatia so did Clemson so did Florida State yeah. Virginia Tech went to Greece did you did you run into any other Basketball no, teams out there? No, was this not. clearly all staff I would be, timing? I would have been disappointed had I run into somebody from the ACC. Like, Wait a minute. This is supposed to be yeah, our well, trip. No we way. don't need them coming over here to Greece. This is our trip for crying out loud. What was, that experience, what was that experience like? What was your favorite part of the entire trip? Yeah, it was awesome. I mean, the biggest takeaway and my favorite part was just getting to know my teammates, especially the newcomers. We left that trip so close. Like, this is arguably the closest team I've ever been on, which I feel like plays a huge role in how competitive we are at practice and right. how much we're able to get on each other and kind of push each other. Um, we went on this boat trip. That was probably my favorite part, though. That was that was the best. There are some pics. Everybody <laughs> taking pictures of the picture because it's just Inception. Is this the boat trip? So that was actually, we had like a had Coach Ivy's idea. Boat. Yeah, we had like yeah, three different boat trips. We had a couple of boat trips. But that was from our all-white party. So we all had to wear all-white. Coach Ivy's like that. She does a yes. lot of boat trips. I love yes. it. <laughs> we're not complaining either. <laughs> That is awesome. That's really cool stuff. And the history of it, too. I mean, it's also a learning experience academically, too, right? You're seeing so much history when you're going to these countries as well, uh, especially like from a school, Notre Dame, so much highly touted academically. Um, you're coming back really cultured, too. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> it's really cool. Do you feel, uh, again, I don't want to put any more pressure than it already is, but do you sense that this team Got Final Four written all over? Because, I mean, I, I just think you got all the boxes checked if you're healthy. I really do. Yeah. Um, I mean, I think we're going to be really, really good. Um, we're really talented. Uh, we work hard. So, I mean, we got to believe that we can do it. So I'm going to say that, yeah, I mean, we want to be in the Final Four. And, we think we can. And do you guys talk about that stuff? Or is it just idiots like us in the media that are always talking about, hey, here's a Final Four, <laughs> man. Nobody's really talking about that in October. But do you guys discuss that amongst yourselves? Or is it like, hey, we got other things we worry about? Yeah, I mean, in the beginning of the season, we always have a meeting, and we kind of talk about it continuously throughout the year, but just individual goals and team goals. And I mean, and those team goals always end with a national championship. Obviously, that's what every other team in the country is saying as well. So just kind of committing to that day in and day out and really just pushing each other for that national championship final four caliber type team. And obviously, like you said, like we have all the boxes checked in terms of skill. It's just like if we're going to go out and play hard every single day and play like that. You get anxious this time of year, just sitting there, kind of waiting. Like all you're doing now, you're like you can kind of see the finish line, which is the start of the season. How do you feel at this point in the year? Yeah, um, a little anxious, a little um, mostly excited. I think we've been working so hard in this off season, uh, during the summer, last postseason, preseason. Like we're just we're ready to play. Um, 
we're kind of tired of playing against their practice players <laughs> every talking, single day. Probably too. Yeah. yeah. We're talking we're about just, it. Yeah, we just want to play. <laughs> we get it. Well, we wish you the very best. And, and again, uh, can you give us any update on Olivia? I mean, I, I, I know there's all kinds of stuff floating around about she's good to go. Maybe it's another couple of weeks. Maybe it's a month. Maybe it's six. Uh, who knows what it is? All right. Mm -hmm. But what can you tell us with Olivia's status? Um, I mean, she's been working really hard. She's I think she's at a great point right now. Um, but then I, we can't really say too much. I know she's doing great. Um, it's between her and her doctors what exactly is going to happen. So we can't really speak too much on that. But she's doing great. She's still been a huge asset to our team, yeah. even if she is on the sidelines, like just kind of seeing the game from a different perspective. Well, I think we saw that out. last year in the postseason. Yeah, I mean, right. It's almost painful to watch her because you know how much she wanted to play. And that would be true for any of you, I'm sure, if you sat there and say, wait a minute, how can I help this team in any shape, way, or form? That, I think it brings you together, though, doesn't it? Absolutely. For sure. Without yeah. question. Well, listen, I think you guys are going to be great. I really do. Yeah, thank and, you. And uh, again, stay healthy. Have fun in Paris. Get a W and bring it back to the States. And some yeah. For sure. Yeah. For sure. <laughs> you guys, thank we wish you the very best. Thanks, guys. Thank, thank you. you.